Oh, look at that. Look at that. Howdy, folks. How are we doing? What could that mean? <laughs> look what we've got here. As promised uh, on the Collins Brothers Open, David, we've got a C9306 TSB. Uh, to have a look at and Liz is going to be driving it. She's gone by yeah. driving not me. So um, Yeah, so let's get this beast fired up and see what she can do. Nice decent ladder on it actually Quite staggered so it's easy climbing It like, like close up nicely as well. Oh, yeah, the bottom comes up and then t turns around We'll see you in a minute Too bad the day. This will be the last. Uh, this is the last field of wheat. There's only about ten acres left, so um, this monster will soon devour that. Got a 25 foot header on it. Good shot. Not bad for a first attempt. <laughs> Beast of the combine, well, it is for us anyway. 9306. I've always liked the look of the Deutsch bars, they look right. certainly enjoying herself. So you've got a handy screen with uh, everything on that you need to know, your forward speed, how much diesel you're using per hour, engine uh, revs per minute, uh, what your straw walkers are doing, drum speed. Yeah, I've yet to find, yet to find out whether we can get the yield as the yield is coming off, so we don't, we don't know whether that's on the system and that uh, we can get that information. So that obviously would be handy because then you're knowing where your yield is, if you've got better parts of the field compared to others, whether that comes in with the mapping or what, I don't know. Um, first time I've actually to use something that has sort of got GPS on, although we just wait for it to be set up. So obviously on the uh, hand control, uh, you've got a button under there, so basically you clutch, so you engage that before you can put the, the joystick forward to make you move. A safety feature, obviously, dangerous day would be uh, very appreciative of that. Do a nice roomy cab, so it doesn't quite feel quite so big as the, the little glass that we've got, but I still got plenty of room. More importantly, you've got your co pilot seat. I don't think there's quite so much floor space, so um, yeah. with us he'd probably be struggling for, for room to sit on the floor. Excellent visibility. Uh, both sides you've got mirrors so you can see when you're travelling down the road, your front wheels to see where they're going. Uh, and then you've got the bigger wider ones that are covering so you can see the back of the combine which is important when you're working. Feature on the header 
is that it was got a 20 litre water tank and a little bottle that you could fill with hand cleaner. So obviously if you needed to do any repairs or you've serviced it in the field and before you started working, you've got the facility to have a bit of a, a wash of your arms before you got in the cab. Once it's 
gone through the drum and the concave, there's a second drum that then goes through to, to hopefully make a cleaner sample. deactivated it at the moment because we haven't got any uh, hills to be worried about um, that's your main switch to start start the drums and the sieves and, and the straw walkers and everything so that's your main drive that's the start for the um, header so you've got one um, one rev so used to the little class, she's got a button that you turn, so you just got hair and tortoise, whereas this is like any other vehicle, you've got a sliding a sliding scale, so regarding what's happening, uh, speed, engine, and then we've got the second screen obviously on that, but at the moment the main, the main thing is we can see the um, auger, so there's two cameras, we've got the Main, main one that's covering the auger and a second one that's covering the rear of the combine so you can make sure that the straw is coming out the back. Obviously <laughs> this year's harvest has been a bit of a whirlwind. Uh, they, so by the time they got the combine at the dealership, the harvest has started really. So obviously it was then out on demo so people wanted it out on demo. Um, one person that it's been to, they weren't worried about having G GPS set up so um, yeah it's just not been set up fully fully yet so obviously I just put quite a bit of straw through the straw walker so I've just had a, a warning telling me telling me that uh, yeah so I'll say about visibility two two mirrors each side which is nice so you can see see quite a bit so this 9306 is a balance, which means it's a hill, hill master basically, and she'll tilt over as we're just going to get a demonstration. Thank 
bit of kit that is, and there you go, she's self-leveling again. Impressive bit of kit. She's got a 300 horsepower Merc engine in it. It's got uh, dual return elevators. Handle there, swings your chaff. Spinners out of the way like so, so you can drop your chaff into the right. These two levers here, you just flip them over and that uh, swaps it from chop to leaving it in a row as well. That's how you get up to your diesel and ablo. You've got uh, lights there and everything. You've got eight and six walkers up there. There's your access to get up to you know, the engine and panels and everything up there like Yeah, you look in there, there's not there's not a whole lot of chaff of dust in there. That's clean. So there's the Merc engine, big round on it lot. Plenty of room to get round stuff though. It's not all crammed in. You yeah, know, you can get in nice and easy. There's your exhaust after treatment. Again, look, there's no chaff or straw being collected around there. Not say there's very little about, which is Obviously, it's always blooming good. Access into the tank's good. You undo them clips there. This bit of um, fabric moves out of the way, then you've got the good steps down to get into the tank. But uh, yeah, 10,500 litre tank, it's about nine tonne. Good size. Yeah, what a treat that was to have that going in, yeah, especially the last of the week. Thank you very much to Paul and Collins for dropping it in for us. And um, yeah, whenever we upgrade the Armedian, she is a strong contender, without a doubt, a strong contender. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that vid. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!